Police are looking into an online threat made against Rutland High School in Macon. School officials tell 41 NBC's Skylar Henry they're being cautious throughout the investigation. Parents weren't taking any chances, one by one, checking their children out of school. I'm scared for my child. That's my life. The robocall call just explained that they, you know, something had happened. They didn't really say what had happened. Several Bibb schools police squad cars lined the parking lot at Rutland High School as officers, with help from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, worked to get to the bottom of who threatened the school. Any time a threat's made against our school or one of our schools, we, we do take that threat seriously. We obviously involve law enforcement. David Gowan, the director of safety and risk management for the school district, says someone posted threats on different social media sites aimed at Rutland High. It's uh, prompted a active campus police investigation. He adds, although the threat was made, the school wasn't on lockdown. Students are moving from class period to class period as normal, but their movement in the within the school during class period is restricted. Several students say they even had to eat lunch in the classrooms. We're not allowed to go outside of our classrooms at all. We have to eat in the classrooms. We're still changing classes though, but we have to have teachers and cops or whatever in the hallways. Can't go to the bathroom by ourselves. Someone has to escort us, and um, we have um, lunch in the class and. Uh, we really can't do anything. Even then, parents were worried. Because I didn't want her to be sitting here all day long. The rest of the day scared and everything and didn't ease my mind, so I came up and picked up. And I work in the ER, so I wanted to get her out of the situation. I see what's going on. In Macon, Skylar Henry, 41 NBC News. School officials would not confirm what the threat said or when the post was made because they did not want to jeopardize the investigation. We're told an increased police presence will remain on campus until the situation is resolved. A woman